today I'm going to be reviewing the Allure Beauty Box for February 2018. And if you would like to know about my look, make sure you check out my um, beauty subscription reviews for February and March for BoxyCharm and Etsy. Kind of, they all got delivered all at the same time. Recording them at those different times, whatever. So, weird thing about this, <coughs> and I, <coughs> I was choking at the end of my last video, and it's still not gone. Okay. I got a little frustrated with this this morning because I've already peeked in all my boxes. Don't hate me. Um, and I was like, I'm going to look real quick to see if there were some alternatives that other people got that weren't the same as mine. And then I started looking at the March 2018 um, online reviews for the Allure Beauty Box. And I was like, wait a minute, this is different than mine. And then I remember they sent an email for um, you to select your um, foundation sample color. And I was like, wait, did I get gypped and not get all the stuff that I'm supposed to be getting in the March box? And then... <coughs> I looked up the February beauty box and I'm like, okay, I have the February beauty box. Um, I subscribed on February 23rd. So what they did was they sent me my um, February beauty box in the middle of March. And then they charged me on March 9th for my March beauty box that apparently they haven't even shipped yet because I haven't gotten a shipping notification or anything for my March beauty box and it is <coughs> I think it's the 22nd today I can't remember 20 something today so I they haven't even shipped my March beauty box yet so I was a little at first I'm like am I not even gonna get a March beauty box but they charged me for it so I should be getting it so this is the review two minutes in to the February beauty box and it has this Allure Beauty Box. And a thing about it, like when I open this up to look, like it doesn't say February. Which I'm sure they don't do just in case they need to send out a random box that if it's not February, somebody's like, what the hell, you know. So, here is your little booklet that tells you about <coughs> everything that's in your box. And I noticed what was different in mine than others because I've, I've seen advertisements in the Allure and the Glamour magazines I got for, what are they? Are they for March or February? Come on, make it easy. This doesn't even say <clears throat> what month this Allure magazine is for unless I'm retarded. Sorry, but it just says Allure the New Naked 2018. Since when do magazines no longer put what month they are? Because it's not on the spine or anything. Um, Glamour Magazine says March 2018. So I saw advertisements um, and I believe it had the same products that was in these uh, in this box except for the lip that I got was different from the lip that they showed which I believe is the um, Gwyneth Paltrow um, lip color which is fine because whatever I like what I got okay <coughs> And one of these products I kind of snuck in, um, tried the other day because my um, lip gloss that I usually use to moisturize my lips was like, it's getting low. So I thought I'm going to try this one, which is <clears throat> Natural Minty Mint Lip Repair Balm for Soft Smooth Lips, 40% coconut oil. Uh, Skin Fix is the brand and I said this in my other video uh, for my Ipsy bag that has a lip balm that has uh, coconut oil. I suffer from hypothyroid. Those who suffer uh, from hypothyroid or I believe 
It's mostly hypothyroid. It might be all thyroid conditions, but coconut oil is really good for us. Um, so I'm really excited that both of these lip balms, um, contain coconut oil. So this has 40% coconut oil. Um, and I like the way it felt on my lips when I did use it. I just used it once, but you know, this is like a full size. So I'm really excited because my other, um, lip gloss that I use, <clears throat> that's been the best for my lips like of anything I've tried I'm really excited to try new things because my lip gloss is like $20 so um and I don't know this um oh this retails for only $4.99 on QVC so very uh reasonable replacement if it works very well so <clears throat> the first thing that it shows in the um catalog is from Youth to the People Age Prevention Moisture Cream, which I need. I don't know if you can see how messed up my face looks um, because I've been sick for the last two weeks. My skin is even more dry than it usually is, and I have like this one spot in the middle of my forehead right here on my cheekbones um, is really dry the most. And I don't know if you can hear that it's starting to hail outside. Uh, um, but this is... Kale plus spinach, green tea, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. Um, I can't wait to try this. So tonight, um, you to the people made in California. Hey, Callie. Um, let me see how much is in here. It's a nice, I mean, it's not like a huge amount, but a, usually a little goes a long way for these products. So I have a feeling that this might be added to my sample sizes that I have to buy the larger size because I love it so much. So I'm really excited to try this. The uh, regular price, do you hear that? It's like craziness. Mm. So I'm sure this is just the sample size. Um, the retail price is $48 for the uh, I'm assuming their regular price it says <clears throat> where to buy youth to the people.com yeah cat is it freaking hailing outside promo code enter allure free at checkout for free shipping on any purchase offer valid starting February 1st 2018 no expiration so uh, that might be on my have to buy list for regular prices Okay, next thing is Burt's Bee Lipstick and Blush Basin. So this is what I got instead. It's really cute. Like it's, um, my camera doesn't like to focus that close. Um, the honeycomb looking. It's like a maroonish brown with pink. And to me, it kind of feels like the, the packaging feels a little cheap. And I think it's because the lid feels, I mean, it just feels really light. But this color I love this color it looks more pink on the screen and that's why I didn't do a um, a lip with this because I knew I had this to try so it's gonna do it It's an alright color. It's a it's a more pinky than I'm normally used to wearing, but it works. <coughs> it doesn't. It smells like traditional waxy lipstick. And I will probably put something over this. Like <coughs> I just got in my Voxy Charm this uh, cover up effects. Let's just play. Holy moly. I don't want to go outside and Trying to ignore the hail outside, but that I can work with. 
Okay. <coughs> Next thing is Tartius Lash Paint Mascara. I already used a mascara for my other beauty box um, that I absolutely fell in love with. This one, I wasn't sure. Yeah, okay. So I wasn't sure about this because this has like the spiky silicone and normally I don't like those at all. So I might give this to my daughter to play around with because those usually give like the ma um, the spider mascara looking um, eyelashes and that creeps me out. <coughs> so that would be a pass for me as far as loving it. Um, but that is retail. I'm sure this is just the sample size. Um, but retail for the regular size is $23, which if it's a good mascara and you love it, then that's to me an average price. Enter Allure Tarte for 10% off your purchase. Offer valid February 10th, 2018 through March 10th, 2018. So only a month. And guess what? It's already expired. <coughs> so that was fast, Tarte. Okay. The next one is Essence Moonlighter Cushion Calming Moisture Technology. So... It has, when you open it up, it's like a little sponge applicator, and then it kind of flips to the side, which if you don't take your sponge out, it's going to drop. Remove protective film. It looks like you would think it's like yellow, but I think it's just, well, it is kind of yellow, but it's mostly the sponge, what you're seeing. And I don't know if I, I put some beautiful pink highlighter on. I don't know if I want to. I got a little bit on there. I mean, if you want to add depth, it doesn't look bad because it's kind of like a yellowy, like skin tone almost. I really like that. It's like the yellow moonlight on top of the pink. I think that is very pretty. On this side, you'll see, because this is the balloon side. I actually really like that <coughs> layered look, because it gives it more dimension. Mm. My face is blinding today. And then I get to go outside in the hail. All right, and then I believe my free gift, because it's not in here, and this is my first beauty box, and it says it contains a free gift. I think it says, like, worth $15, and it's called Missoni, and it is a little perfume <coughs> bottle. Looks like this. And it actually smells really good. To me, it's more like, a, I want to say, a cologne smell, which I really like. Um, when I was younger, women's perfume always gave me a headache. And then if I would smell like a men's cologne right after, it would totally take my headache away. Don't know why or how or what for that. Um, now that I'm older, I can tolerate um, the women's perfume. Um, mm, that smells good. <clears throat> so there's absolutely no information about this in the little catalog and that's it but I do like that they have a little catalog that goes with it to give you more information and the only thing that I would say that I wouldn't use is the Tarte mascara and the fact that the lipstick is actually a little too pink for my liking. I mean, I guess it looks good, but it's just not something I would traditionally go for. I'm more of the neutral mauve colors. Um, and the Allure Beauty Box, <clears throat> I thought it was 15 but for February, they only charged my bank account $10.63. For March, they charged $10.73. I'm not sure what the difference is for the $0.10. Cents. 
but the March price of 1073 was exactly the same as my uh, Ipsy, which was 1073. Um, so. For what you get, I think it's worth the roughly $11 it cost. Um, I'm just a little irritated that I didn't know that I was going to be getting a February box and a March box. And the fact that it's almost the last week of March and they have not shipped my March box yet. And I just got my February box. So I don't know what the deal is with that. <clears throat> and, I've, and I've got like a ton of... Uh, emails from Allure already and only two were related uh, to my box so tell me you heard that tell me tell me tell me tell me you heard that huge thunder I hope you heard that because that was so awesome and I hope there's more of it and I hope it doesn't just like hit hard and then all of a sudden the rain stops so it can rain for the next roughly two hours until I have to go outside and hopefully it stops because I'll be having a hood over my face and I can't show my beautiful highlighter today. So, um, I filmed a total of like four subscription box reviews today. Hopefully they'll all go up within the next couple days. Um, and today I should be getting my Sephora Play in the mail and hopefully soon my March Allure Beauty Box I still have to review. So until next time, hopefully there's no crazy cats trying to get out of the house and there's no...